Last weekend, I went down to Oberlin College to run with over 300 other runners from different schools. We all went as a team in a charter bus. It was a long four-hour car ride, but in the end, I think we just napped, watched a couple movies, and played a couple card games. Once we arrived, we settled into our hotel. It wasn't anything special, but uh, I mean, we got to sleep there, so better than outside. We went to dinner that night, uh, got back, hung out, had a team meeting, and went to bed. Woke up early the next morning to run. Then once we arrived at the meet, we set up camp, we got ready, put on our spikes, ran around a couple miles to get our muscles all warm. It takes a while to get warmed up, but once you're there, you're sweating, you're anxious, and you're just waiting for the gun to go off. I'm never comfortable before a race. It's always a, just a bundle of anxiety. It's actually one of the only times I feel anxious. For the most part, I believe I just fear the pain of the race. It's not comfortable, it's not enjoyable, it's just the pain. <laughs> but once the gun goes off, you kind of forget all that. Yeah, it's still painful, and that's definitely not a comfortable feeling. But for the first mile and a half, you're running smoothly. It's almost effortless. It's when you get in the middle parts of the race where it's really hard, where it hurts the most. Once you push through and finish, though, it's all behind you. And uh, there's just a feeling of accomplishment or maybe feeling of disappointment. We all don't do as well as we had hoped. Some of us do better than we expected. Either way, a race day is a race day, and it's different than any other. We ran pretty good at Oberlin. Some of us had better days than others. I placed 33rd out of 300 runners. I'll take it. Everyone has a reason for the things they do, whether they're small and subconscious or large and obvious. We're always pushed toward a certain standard of action. The reason I do cross country is probably very deep rooted in my psyche. If I consciously analyze it, I would say that I run cross country because I love the feeling of a race. I want to win more than almost anything, but I want to push myself to my limits. If I win a race and I didn't push myself to the very brink of exhaustion, then it's not a true win. But it's not just that. I do it for the team. I love the people I'm with. I love the people I'm around. And if I didn't love that team, cross country wouldn't be worth it. Because pushing yourself to your extremes is great, but only if your life is focused around yourself. At some point, it doesn't become enough. The pain you experience and the uncomfortableness you tolerate, it isn't worth just the thrill of the race. Because someday I'm not going to be able to run anymore. And will everything that I put in be worth nothing? I don't think so. Because I love the team, because I'm with people that I truly enjoy, running is worth it to me. And that's why I run. Running's just alright. But running with people you love, that's fantastic.